Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're gonna see techniques that were put initially in a particular form but evolved with time through competition. Now, that's not to say that these techniques don't work anymore. It's just that there's more variations to them. But th what is interesting, at least to me, is that if you reintroduce that initial form, it's gonna come as a surprise because it is done in a way that's no longer practiced. So it's only, for example, for kata reasons or to pass an exam, but in competition form, nobody's doing them, but they can still be very effective. The first one is going to be tomoe nage. Now, today, tomoe nage, it's done sleeve and lapel and the leg that catapults the uke, it's the leg on the side of the sleeve. As you can see here, Joshiro Maruyama is one of the best at this technique here is another example from an ushimata feint he again shoots from the side of the sleeve as he is left-handed so if you're left-handed you shoot with the right leg however if we were to take a look at the basic demonstration of the kodokan if you look at the leg that's catapulting it's actually on the side of the lapel so if you do that today and you shoot for tomoinage on the lapel side it's going to be a hell of a surprise for your opponent. But that's not, it does not end there. If you look at the basic form even further, I would say it's a more aggressive one. It's in the Nage no Kata. It's actually done a double lapel uh, grip. So what you do is, is actually get them pushing forward so they react. So for example, this can be from like an Ouchi bump or a Kochi Gari feint and as they retreat and then their weight goes forward, that's when you can actually do it. So for example, if you are fighting left versus right and you cannot get the sleeve, you can actually grip the second lapel and then do a, a Ochigari feint. And then from there, you proceed to do the, this form of uh, Tomoe Nage. So you push, you, you go down, as you can see here, but it's, this is a false variation. Let's take a look at the right one. So what you do is, as you actually lean back, but you have a firm grip on both lapels as your forearms are resting on the chest. It's not you squat down, but you actually go down in a round circle as you lean back. But uh, for you to get them to go forward, you can do like an Ochi feint. Now, the next one is Ushimata. Ushimata is now being widely practiced as a hip technique. And you see here in way do it. You know, also it's a form, a ken ken, like a leg form, and also, uh, you know, lifting through in the middle with his hips. And you see this many times, and it's constantly uh, debated that uh, it is hanegoshi or whatever, but it is, don't get me wrong, it's majestic to see that incredible lift and not so much, you know, reaping the thigh. As you see here, clear lift before even the leg goes up. By Maruyama, and you see them practicing this form of uh, Uchikomi and Nagekomi, and people would see you see them in the comments. You know, this is Hanegoshi, this is not Uchimata, but to them, Hanegoshi is now a form of Uchimata, and it's a way to practice it, the, a way to insert your legs and hips correctly, and you do the Tsurite and Hikite correctly, and then. Uh, in competition you just throw your leg in the middle without even caring but it's a way to protect your partner training partner's groin now if we were to look at the basic form it's this one here in nage no kata you have one two and then three as the leg is coming you reap the upper part of the thigh or the inner thigh and from there you throw them there's no loading on the hips it's purely leg technique um Today, uh, Uchimata as a leg technique, it's only the Ken Ken part because, you know, it's a failed one and then you just hop the leg. But here you see it's a big lift with the leg uh, without using the hips. Now here, the Kodokan tells you that do not lift with your hips. You saw the X, it's a false one. It says do not lift with your hips as in Hanegoshi. So anytime you lift with the hips and the leg goes through, it's actually Hanegoshi to them, uh, or at least in basic form. But today, uh, it's a variation or practice variation of uchimata but this is how it's actually done now that's not to say that this part 
or this variation, the kata variation does not work. It clearly does work. And here, let's see Hirotaka Okada do it in Ayo 2 or same stance opponent. You step out, but you don't actually post your uh, foot. Now, here's the little trick. So you bring in, very similar to the kata, you bring them in. Um, and that leg, as it's stepping forward, it's shifting your weight to the other side, but he does not actually post it. Now, when it comes to Kuzushi, this, in my opinion, is the best Kuzushi. As someone who struggles a lot with Kuzushi, this is the best one for me, at least. And the basic form is the most beautiful form to me. So, you see, you bring them around, and then you shoot your leg up. You don't need to do one, two, three, like in kata. And kata is basically showing, you know, you have good form, you have good kuzushi, and then from there you strike it. It's like all the techniques. You do one tap, one step, two step, and then you shoot like kataguruma, sasai, uh, okuriashi, etc. So here you see, he, he shifts his weight through that leg, but he does not post it. He actually retrieves it a little bit back to position it to be a spring leg. And then as the leg of Uke is coming, he rips it upwards. So I've actually done this in Randori last Wednesday and it works amazingly. Now, I don't know if it can work uh, right versus left. At least you have to be on the inside for you to get that full control and that good Kazushi, but I don't know. Now, the final one is Kata Guruma. This one is, for me, it's a joke. This clearly is for Temiwaza. Kodokan clearly talks about it in the old productions. Um, this is either, depending on the direction, it's either Yoko Otoshi or um, here you see uh, Ukiwaza. Uh, it's not Kataguruma in the least. It's not a hand technique. It's a sacrificing technique. And this is clearly not this monstrous mighty technique. So as you can see, there's a big lift. You are using mainly your hands. You're not sacrificing yourself. You don't have to sacrifice yourself. You sure you can go down. To get them loaded on your to your shoulders but um, these new techniques that we are seeing today you have to fully sacrifice yourself or otherwise technique does not work in the least there are variations where you can lift uh, without the leg but it's rarely done um, you see vlad kolikov is a big proponent of the legless kataguruma because um, the leg is surely stronger than the arm and you can actually get caught in uh, Ashigatami, which is a very brutal submission. But here you can see this mighty technique is nothing compared, or today's technique is nothing compared to this mighty technique of the past. So uh, if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. And uh, thank you always for your support. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.